the language programs and policies, and how they adopt English as their second language. Annyeonghaseyo! My name is Quinlan Rose Basilisco. Annyeonghaseyo, Yorobun Junun Jimari Hikalim Nida. Annyeonghaseyo, Jana Catherine M. Nida. Annyeonghaseyo, Nathan Sunday. In this video, we're going to introduce to you the language programs and policies of Korea and how they adopt English as their second language. South Korea is more or less a monolingual country. South Korea's linguistic policies are closely interwent with the use of Hangul. Although Hangul was created by King Sejong in 1443, it was only at the end of the 1980s that it became a full-fledged official language across the board, including the public sector. Despite the flurry disputes, Hangul is now recognized as the exclusive alphabet in which to write down the Korean language. Since in the 1990s, South Korea has faced an unprecedented surge in demand of learning Korean language at home and abroad. Internationally, the numbers of foreigners seeking to learn Korean for economic or cultural reasons has increased. While internally, the number of foreign workers and foreign immigrant women married to a Korean spouse has also grown substantially. In particular, Debates in multiculturalism have emerged in South Korea, which was previously perceived by its people as mono-ethnic and monolingual nation. As such, teaching Korean as a foreign language has emerged as one of the most important policy objectives. Meanwhile, there has been a boom in Koreans learning English amidst an ever-increasing interest in globalization. In the aftermath of the 1997 Asian financial crisis, and some people even went so far as to argue that English should become the official language of South Korea. Fortunately, this controversial debate was soon put to rest. Since then, however, companies have increased their use of English, college have encouraged lecturers to teach in English, and students to write their thesis in English. And some private elementary schools and kindergartens have initiated English engagement education. Against this backdrop, it is essential to strengthening the teaching of English to enhance the proficiency in English among Koreans while at the same time promoting the continued development of the Korean languages and to prevent English from threatening the sustainability of Hangul. Two languages are required in the elementary schools through first year high school which are Korean and English. Both languages are also an important component in the university entrance exam. Korean is required as the national language and dominates the early years of elementary school education. Literary in Korean, the native language of early all students, is essential for success in all school learning. This is similar to the most other countries. In the world with a literary in native and national language is required for success in the educational system. South Korea has banned English language classes for first and second 
grade student in elementary schools to minimize negative effects on early English education practices. English has been required from third grade in elementary school since 1997. Previously, it began in the middle school. Like Koreans, English has been required since 1945, though the reason has not always been as clear. Currently, the main reason appears to be promoting national competitiveness in an increasingly globalizing economy. In South Korea, kindergartens who conduct English classes are not officially registered as preschools but operate as private academies. Policy makers logically pushed English, giving rise to the elementary school English education and the listening component of the university entrance exam. Pressure to open the economy in response to the 1997 economic crisis added fuel to the fire, causing a brief flirtation with the idea of making English a national language together with Korea in 1999. In 2001, the MOE enacted a TEE policy, improved the English proficiency of the Korean students, mainly through English instruction. With the implicit acknowledgement that over 40 years of teaching through Korean had not produced competent English users. A survey on teachers, TEE or the tertiary entrance examination practice conducted in 2002 shows that about 20% of teachers were using English as the MOI or the medium of instruction in at least one lesson of the week and 70% of teachers were using it at least in part of their lessons. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you learn a lot from this.